Welcome everyone. This is the Cosmic Awakening and today we're just going to do a quick yes or no on your questions. Okay, so we have eight piles for the yes or no. We have pile number one with the orange calcite, pile two with sodalite, pile three with the pineapple calcite, pile four with the kyanite, Pile five with the Dalmatian Jasper. Pile six with the Caribbean Blue Calcite. Pile seven with this, I think it's a mix with Amethyst and some other crystal. And then we have eight with the Amethyst. All right, so um, <clears throat> let's move on. Oh, before I keep going, I just like to ask you guys to please leave a thumbs up, a like on this video. It um, it helps me bring you more and also comment so that uh, YouTube knows that my videos are somehow important to you, even if it's just with a little emoji or whatever you'd like to comment. So thank you so much for being here. Let us, let's see. So if it's a yes or a no for our pile number one, let's see if it's a yes or a no pile one. Okay, so you could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It seems like you've been through a few battles. You've been through a lot here. You may be asking with the Ace of Earth here or the Ace of Pentacles, you may be asking about a new beginning in your life or something you want to start or a pregnancy, okay? Um, or something long lasting that's just starting something new after you've closed a chapter here, after you've closed a chapter in your life, you're, you're wondering about something new, whether you should go for it or whether it's going to happen for you. And so, yeah, you're taking uh, careful steps and you're planning. You're not making a lot of movement right now, but you're, you're making plans here and you're just wondering if you're on the right path. Now, let's see if it's a yes or a no. It says it's a yes, but it's at the very beginning stages, so you need more planning. Or, yes, it will happen, but it's going to take some time. Not a whole lot of time, but it's at, at the beginning stages, and it's going to take some time. Okay, yeah. It's going to take some time, timing, direction, okay? You, you need to take those steps, like one step at a time up that ladder, but it's it's going to go up, okay? Yeah, you're being supported by your ancestors, by your passed on loved ones, okay? you They just want you to keep persevering, so the it's to keep going. They want you to keep going, okay? Perseverance. Um, this could be related to uh, a situation that um, you're very passionate about or a person that you're very passionate about or it's about your own survival and they say, yes, you will survive. Yes, there will be passion. Yes, you will make it, okay? You just need to um, keep persevering because the more you persevere, the more empowered you will feel, the more vitality you will have. Make sure you're eating right as well. You're getting support. Um, it's a, it's a matter of timing, okay? No, it's going to take some time because it's at the very beginning stages, whatever this is. You need some more planning, but it, it's a long-lasting, it's going to be long-lasting and uh, stable, okay? Whatever you're asking about. You just need to close the cycle of burdens. It's right behind you. And yes, so this is a yes. It's going to take time and perseverance, okay? So that was the first one. Now let's go to pile one. Let's see what pile one with the soda light. This is such a beautiful stone. I just got it. I love it. So pile two. Let's see if it's a yes or a no. So first off, we've got love. So this could be about love or making a decision in love. Okay, we've got the lovers here. And you may be ignoring a certain decision here because you don't know which way to go. Could be a decision in love or it could be regarding a soulmate, a higher level soulmate. Uh, you could be Gemini or you could be dealing with a Gemini or have Gemini somewhere in your charts. Okay, then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So with Fortune's Wheel being here, it looks like there's going to be movement. 
There's um, and also whatever decision it is you have here to make or whatever this high level soulmate is, it definitely is a high level soulmate if you're asking about a person. And especially because we already have two major arcana here and um, things are, whatever the situation has been, it's going to change. Okay. So if you planted some good seeds, there's going to be good karma there. All right. Your ships are coming in, so you won't have to really do anything because it's happening for you regardless. You just have to sit pretty or sit handsome or whatever the situation is for you and just wait because your ships are coming in, okay? This could be uh, someone coming from far away or traveling toward you or you're traveling towards someone. You're at a stalemate right now, possibly not knowing. Again, there's a decision here that you need to make. Or someone needs to make a decision, yes or no. Yes, you're gonna you're gonna take the leap of faith, or your person will take the leap of faith toward you. Okay, so the answer is yes with the fool there. There's a new beginning for you. Okay, there's definitely a new beginning for you. So it's a yes, whatever your question was. Yeah, and you're gonna get a lot of insight. You're very connected here. You could have Pisces or Cancer in your chart. You're very connected to the moon phases as well. And you're going to you're gonna get the insight that you need, even though you may be feeling a little bit confused right now. Yeah, there may be travel involved. Yeah, as I, as I saw there with the Three of Wands, there may be travel involved and there will be travel. If you're asking if you should travel, yes, you should. If you're asking if there will be travel, there will. If you're asking if someone will travel toward you, yes, okay? Whatever your question was. <clears throat> Okay, now we got the violet and spirituality, wisdom, and humility. So you've you've been connected spiritually, you've been humble, you've you are wise. So whatever happens, you're going to make the right decision. Okay, because it's going to be based on wisdom and or the person you're inquiring about if you're inquiring about a person. Because yeah, there's a very there's a very big connection to a high council. Um if you're asking about a person, you and this person are connected. Uh, as I saw there on the lovers, high spiritual uh, connection here, because you are from the same high council, the same uh, spiritual family, the same, you have the same mission here. And uh, the two of you together are, are supposed to be here to evolve and to help humanity evolve, okay? And there's a lot of potential in the situation that you asked about. Um, and you're being guided by your high council, okay? So yes, it's being very divinely guided, this decision okay and um, the answer is yes go for it take a leap of faith travel if you have to yes there will be travel yes someone will take a leap of faith toward you whatever your question was okay pile three let's see uh, with the um, pineapple calcite what you can see this color it's so saturated anyway yeah here you can see it pineapple kyle it's such a beautiful anyway pile three let's see what your answer is if it's a yes or a no so um it may be pertaining to a wish uh fulfillment that you have or a dream that you have that you want to uh something that you really want to happen okay with the nine of cups there yeah this could be um going back to something from your past or someone from your past a reconciliation doesn't have to be higher level soulmate doesn't have to be could just be something that you dreamed about when you were a child or when you were younger okay doesn't have to be a person i'm seeing cancer pisces scorpio energy here then we have the emperor so this could be a divine masculine that you want back from your past or just a divine masculine your higher level soulmate your twin flame Okay, you may be wishing for having your divine masculine in your life, your higher level soulmate. And this does not have to be someone from the past, but it may very well be. Okay, Aries energy here could be you or your person having that sign in your chart. Um, but this could also be a, a dream of yours from your past when you were uh, younger that you want to accomplish to take leadership of your own life. Could very well be the case there. Yeah, this could be pertaining as well to your financial independence. I'm definitely <clears throat> seeing a strong energy here where um, 
you are trying to recollect what it is that you really wanted to do because you know that's going to bring you financial independence. This could also mean that you are at a level where you're almost financially independent and uh, emotionally independent and you're ready to uh, call in your soulmate. Whatever the case is for you, let's see if it's a yes or a no. This could also be just you working on pulling in your own independence, okay? There will be, with the Three of Cups here, yes, there will be an opportunity to celebrate, okay? Or to reunite with your twin flame or with your divine masculine soulmate, whatever you want to call it, however you label, label things, whatever your question was, yes. <clears throat> and it may start with a friendship if this is a soulmate, uh, or you may be celebrating something um, pertaining to your financial independence. So there could be some good news here with money, some good news with a reunion with a soulmate. Uh, there could be, if this is a soulmate, there could have been a, there could currently be a third party situation Okay, so watch out for that. Don't want to find yourself um, mixed up in something like that. Okay, but this is a yes. Um, with the yellow here, the sacral, the solar plexus chakra, you're going to be very empowered. Okay, this is about your personal power. You're going to feel a lot more confident, right? And it's so funny how the yellow, uh, the 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 yellow stone came out with this. The yellow calcite there okay there's going to be some lessons associated to this uh, this may be about going back to school and if you're if your question if your question is going back to school then it's a yes you will you know be able to go to the school that you want also with the green with the heart chakra here about compassion love and cultivation so this could definitely be pertaining to a love situation okay there's a yes, but there could be some complications there. And now blue, wow. So highly, um, if this is about a person, this is a high level um, with three chakras here. You're very connected. Like from, these are all in, in the same row. We have the yellow, then the green, then the blue. This is actually in order of the chakras because this is the solar plexus chakra, which is where the diaphragm is more or less. And then you have the green um, the heart chakra, which is in, you know, more or less in the middle of your chest where your heart is, and then the blue in the throat chakra. So there will be communication. If you were asking, there will be communication. If you were asking you, should you communicate? Yes. Okay. Should you say what's going on in your heart? Yes, you should. Should you exchange energy with someone? Yes, you should. Okay. This person could be from your school days. You could have gone to school with them or you could have known them while you were in school. If this is a person. If not, if you're thinking about going back to school, the answer is yes. It will bring you financial independence. Okay? So whatever your question was, it's a yes. Now let's go to the blue kyanite and see what your answer is. Yes or a no, pile four, let's find out. So, okay, this could be uh, pertaining to travel, six of swords, travel to a, pl a better place or to travel to uh, meet up with someone and um, maybe reconcile or set things straight or move a relationship to calmer waters or just move your life to calmer waters could be the case here, okay? the moon so there's a lot of mystery surrounding this you don't quite know what to do but you're trying to access your intuition you could have cancer or uh, pisces in your chart somewhere the number 18 is a nine you could be closing a cycle there uh, 18 may be a relevant number to you as well as the number nine you could have leo can uh, leo sagittarius or aries in your chart You're thinking about sh whether you should move forward, whether you should do something. Okay, this could be pertaining to a new emotional beginning here. This could be pertaining to some kind of new beginning in love or... But let's see if your answer is a yes or a no. Four of Pentacles. This is not a clear yes or no for me. 
this is not a clear yes or no there's still more that you need to work through so they're saying it can be a yes if you change your perspective um for now it's a no but if you are able to let go of the fear and focus on the positive then you can manifest it but right now you're not in an energy that you can manifest it because you're holding on to things that are getting in the way such as fear so you need to let go of the fear if you want to change this into a yes okay yeah you may need some quiet time to make a decision here it may be a no for now, but a yes in the summertime. In the summertime, you will be able to take action is what this is saying. Or someone will take action toward you. If you're asking about someone taking action toward you, not right now, but in the summertime. Right now, they're just having some quiet time. <clears throat> but the energy is there. Leo, um, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Okay. You already know what's going to happen. Spirit is showing. Right now is a time to review the past. But in the summer, it's a yes. Not right now, but in the summer, it's a yes. <clears throat> All right, let's move on to pile five. Welcome pile five with the Dalmatian Jasper. So let's see. Um, let's see what your answer is, if it's a yes or a no. So we have the hermit with the, no the number nine. You may be closing a cycle. You may be in hermit mode, spending time alone, contemplating, meditating. You could have Virgo in your chart, or you could be asking about a Virgo. And uh, if you are asking about someone else, yeah, that person may be um, in a hermit mode right now. You could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart or a person you may be in crying about. Um, you could be feeling left out in the cold. You may be having some financial problems or your person is if you're inquiring about your person. Yes, there will be movement, okay? And once movement picks up, it's going to be very fast and it's not going to take long. I see eight weeks. Now, yes or no, this is a yes, four of wands, okay? You're going to be feeling really good. This is a yes. There are going to be opportunities here. You're going to become aware of opportunities. Yes, movement. As I said, there will be movement if that was your question. There will be movement. Someone will come toward you. You will be able to do something that you wanted to do, whatever your question was. Yeah, because you're very connected to cosmic consciousness. And this is meant to be, whatever this yes is. And the truth will be revealed, okay? You will get access to the truth. Okay. Pile five. Actually, pile six. Pile six. Let's find out if it's a yes or a no for you. So... Someone may be hiding their feelings or someone or you may be asking a question whether um, someone is being sneaky. You may not know which way to go. Maybe you're the one being sneaky, hiding your feelings or someone is hiding their feelings. Yeah, there's been heartbreak here, so there was probably some cheating, or you're asking if there was cheating with the Three of Swords. Pisces energy could be you or someone you're inquiring about. You're not knowing because you can't see fully. You're trying to gain a perspective over what happened or what's happening. This could be a situation where there's cheating involved, and you're wondering if there was cheating or if there is cheating going on. There's been fights, five of swords. There's been fighting or let's see if it's a yes or a no. Um, this is the world. So closing a cycle and starting a new one. Should you close the cycle? Yes. 
Should you start a new cycle? Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Has there been cheating? If that's your question, then yes. You're trying to solve the puzzle, the problem, because you can't see clearly. Spirit wants you to focus on your self-confidence and your own sensuality because it's there. This situation will be magically transformed, okay? There are illusions here. There are illusions here around the situation. And you're supposed to release something so that you can have healing and a rebirth and integrate the lessons so that next time you see the red flags is what I'm hearing, okay? If this is not your pile, choose another one. If this did not answer your question, all right? So pile seven, this is your yes or no pile seven. Let's find out if it's a yes or a no for pile seven. Okay, so you could have Gemini in your chart or someone you're inquiring about may have Gemini in your chart. You may be asking about something that you're manifesting or if someone is manifesting you. Okay, so you could have a child or this person could have a child if you're inquiring about a person. This child could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you could be inquiring about someone younger than you or you could be younger than this person. You're wondering, you may be wondering if you're going to get an apology that you've been manifesting or if you're going to be asked out on a date that you've been manifesting or if someone's going to communicate their feelings toward you as you've been manifesting or the other way around. You could have Leo Sagittarius Aries in your chart or this person could. You could also have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in your chart. You could be a Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cusper. Or a Taurus, or an Aries, Taurus, Cusper, or a Leo, Virgo, Cusper. Or you could just have a lot of earth and fire in your chart. And you're wondering if you're going to manifest an apology or a date or communication about love or even a child. If you're going to manifest a child into your life or someone younger than you or someone older than you. Uh, with the Ace of Materials, uh, this is the Ace of Pentacles. If you're asking about whether you're going to get pregnant, the answer is yes. If you're asking about whether you're going to manifest a long-lasting, stable situation in your life, yes. If you're asking whether you should go for a new project, yes. The answer is yes. If you should try and get pregnant, yes. If you should manifest something, the answer is yes. If you should start something, yes. Um, there is an alternative course if you want it. So right now, Spirit wants you to analyze the alt or the alternatives that you have, the the options and the choices. It's a time to make choices, but not to choose one just yet. It's a uh, it's like a dress rehearsal where you can try on different suits and different ideas. Right now, this could be pertaining to working as an actor actress in the theater or singing or something to do with the arts doesn't have to be spirit wants you to focus on a balance right now and uh, take some time in nature with the elemental kingdom here if um, also some herbs will help you somehow uh, working with herbs for your health and uh Maybe saging your home. Right now is a time of conception, so you could be asking about conceiving a child or a, a creative project. And yes, there will be expansion if you do decide to conceive a project or a child. Okay. Yes. You're manifesting again with the manifesting. I love the synchronicities. You're planting, you are growing, and you will reap. So if this is a project or a child, the answer is absolutely yes. Yes, yes. 
Pile eight, last but not least, welcome. Let's see if it's a yes or a no for you. Ooh, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this question may be about money or stability, long-term stability, money, career, fame. Let's find out more. Yeah, this could definitely pertaining to, you could be asking, will you be famous? Will you be abundant, financially prosperous, um, happy, uh, enough to have a family, have a child, um, um, to be able to provide for your family? Could be all your questions on your mind. You could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in your chart, or you could be dealing with someone Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <clears throat> You're very wise. Uh, see, you are someone who has decided to work on your prosperity. You're decided to be happy. You may fear that you're missing out on some opportunity. You may be unhappy where you are with your life right now, a little bit bored and discontent. Or you may be weighing your options, seeing what's available to you still. If, if it's a yes or a no, yes. Take that, start that, take that, um, it's at the beginning phases, but this is a yes. Whatever you're starting here, it's going to be long lasting and it's going to be prosperous. It's going to lead you to the 10 of pentacles. Okay, so it's a yes, especially if it's a creative project or a child. It's a yes. You're ready. It's time. You have the wisdom they're saying. You're going to use your uh, logic over your heart. In this situation um, and you're seeing clearly you're projecting to the future and uh, you're gonna have the outcome that you anticipate <clears throat> yeah this is a rite of passage you're ready absolutely you've done the work you're gonna be guided maybe in your dreams you're gonna have a guardian and someone will help guide you maybe you, there will be a teacher or maybe you're asking about teaching as well a teaching project spirit wants you to spend time in nature uh, playing with your ideas um, your project could have something to do with the environment then I see a little a little person there so it could be a child for sure you could be very connected to the fairies. Um, but if there's someone in your life that is pushing your boundaries, make them stronger, okay? Be cautious about a certain someone in your life. And they're saying yes, this is a yes, but you need to proceed with caution, okay? You need to keep using that wisdom, but it's a yes. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this clarified your questions. And I hope to see you soon. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell because that is how you are notified of next readings. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Bless you and I hope to see you soon.